Are you as sick as I was of fighting with autofocus on your AngiTube webcam? A couple months ago, I decided it was time to upgrade my webcam. I was using an old Logitech and it was just really fuzzy and no matter what I did, I couldn't make the quality any better. So I did some research and I ended up purchasing this AngiTube webcam. And to be honest, I really liked the quality. I liked the video capture and I liked the capability of using the um, ring light that's built right into the camera. And it came with autofocus and no software which would have been fine, except for their autofocus sucked. I could see it every time it switched focus and it happened every time I so much as moved. It was driving me crazy. I couldn't find anywhere online how to turn off the autofocus feature. So in a last ditch effort before buying a whole new camera, I reached out to their support and they actually helped me out. So today I'm gonna show you exactly how you turn off autofocus on this AngiTube webcam. thing is that you need to actually have the AngiTube Windows app, which is not easy to find. So I will put a link to where you can get that um, down below. They also have a version for Mac there as well. Um, but what you want to do is you want to go ahead and click into that AngiTube app. And you can see right here, I'm here already, but let me show you how I got here. So when you first land into AngiTube, um, there will not be any webcams listed here. You're going to want to click on this bottom plus sign, not the scene one, but the one down here, the bottom plus sign. And you're going to choose the option of AngiTube live camera. Okay. So you can see right here, I'm having that problem, right? I move a little bit and it starts to refocus. And this is so annoying because it happens like all the time. So I have that capture device selected, I'm going to go ahead and click on camera properties. You're going to see I get a bunch of different options here. And I'm going to go ahead and be able to uncheck auto. And once I do that, you can see if I do the same thing. Oh, it's still doing it a little bit. So I'm going to actually adjust this down just a little bit. Go down to like 285. And see now it's not doing it anymore because it's a little bit less sensitive. Does that make sense? One thing you are going to notice sometimes is that um, when you come into the camera properties, sometimes it's not going to allow you to click on, on auto, uncheck these boxes. I think it's just glitchy. I think this is just not a very good app. So what you want to make sure to do in that case is just close out the Angie 2 app, reopen it, and try connecting to the device again. You'll see different options happening in there. Eventually, you're going to find that option. Um, one other thing to note is that while this will work now when I close this, it will work in other software like Zoom and things like that. If you do disconnect this camera and perhaps use it on a different computer or something like that and come back here, you're going to have to go through this process again. So um, just keep that in mind so that you don't get frustrated if you come back in and it's doing that again. If you run into any other issues, I highly recommend reaching out to AngiTube support. They were very helpful for me, but do expect to hear from them overnight because they are overseas. And I hope that this was really helpful for you because this just saved me. I was ready to just drop a ton of money on another webcam that probably would have done the same thing. So hopefully this saves you from the heartache that I was going through. Um, I assume you were too, or you probably wouldn't have found this video in the first place. So good luck with your AngiTube webcam and happy video making. Thank you.